one of the very few artists who have been able to record and tour with both gospel and R&B artists. And the lives that are lived by the people that you worship are, desp are despicable and disgusting. My heart was broken when I saw the things that happened on the road with a lot of these artists. Doing shows with these artists, all kinds of stuff. My heart was broken because there was still a part of me that believed that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. That's biblical also. It took for me to tour and to work and to do shows with these artists that call themselves gospel artists and preachers who tried to get in my bed. That's another story. You won't get it for free. Refuse to give that for free. Some preachers that's all over your timeline and in your YouTube right now. That if they could have gotten me in my bed or in their bed, they would have. But I don't play those games. Fuck a man. I fear God. I'm one of the very few artists who have been able. Good evening and good morning, everyone. Good evening and good morning, everyone. I'm in a different time zone, so depending on where you are, it is either night or morning, and we could possibly even be in two separate days. Shout out to everybody who has responded to the DJ request. That's a real request, and I am looking to take a DJ on the road with me this year. So as long as you follow the instructions, I will definitely see it. My team gets it, but they always send everything to me so that I have an opportunity to review it because being on the stage with me requires for us to have a level of Synchron, what is it? Synchronicity? I'm messing up the word. We have to be able to communicate with each other without words to make it happen. I am doing this live, and I'm not going to keep this live up. I'm doing this live, and then I'm going to delete it. I've been in this business since 1992, officially. I've always been respectful to everybody, even when they tried to throw dirt on my name. I've never disrespected anybody. I've tried to help everybody that ever needed help. Being a fat girl, being a dark-skinned girl, I was always told that I was the bottom of the totem pole and I was forced to play out that position, even if I was the most talented person in the room. I don't do that anymore because where I sit now, if you want to try to convince me that I don't deserve to be where I am, you are going to have to outproduce me, outsing me, outright me. And if you can't do any of those things, you gets no love. According to my girl Faith, that's her song. The R&B singer Kelly Price shocked her social media followers during the first week of 2024 by sharing a startling revelation. Of course, the former Def Jam vocalist disclosed that she has been approached so many times by several well-known preachers with indecent and unthinkable proposals. Although she asserted that she declined their advances, um, Mrs. Kelly Price reiterated and continued and said that 
so many people don't believe her but you know this is something that started way back when she was still singing as a child in the church but she did not come out to reveal and say exactly who was that when where and what really exactly happened Kelly Price calls out, you know, the well-known gospel artists and preachers who allegedly try to, you know, to sleep with her. And of course, not only her, but even other girls who are in those churches, not only girls, but also the boys or the men who are in those churches. By the way, this comes as um, so many allegations were coming out with regards to popular bishops, popular pastors, popular preachers in in the american churches but by the way not only in the american churches we saw just recently tb joshua was actually exposed in a bbc documentary docuseries that was released just yesterday you know he was <clears throat> doing so many unthinkables you know you can't imagine men of god you know people who actually hold huge power huge offices but involving and engaging in these unthinkable acts that are so so demeaning and you know ungodly so Kelly Price actually continues after Christian case when he came out and said that these so-called preachers, so many people are praising, they're involving in unthinkable arts that are not even related to the Bible, not, not even related to what the scripture teaches. So it's it seems there is a huge virus, there is a big um, a big virus that is spreading around the American churches, most especially these big preachers whom so many people do believe in. But of course, we hope Kelly Price comes out one day and names these people so that they get exposed. <laughs>